Um, the gadgets that I have um, is the iPhone 4, um, I've got a Samsung NC10 notebook, Jason's got a, well my partner's got another laptop, a Toshiba, we've got um, a surround sound system that you plug your iPod into and you can plug a USB stick into it so there's no more need for DVDs and buying DVDs. Um, the gadget that I mostly use would be, iPod aside, would be my netbook NC10 because I would take that everywhere with me um, and I would be able to make Skype calls because obviously Skype calls are free and who doesn't want something for free because nothing's free in this world but that is. Um, most important gadget that if I had to lose it um, would be my NC10 laptop um, as well as I have to have this phone. It's not the greatest, latest phone. Um, I got about three years ago. My mum gave this to me, which was supposed to be her phone. Um, and it does everything. It goes on the internet. I can Skype on it. Not video Skype, because it's not that advanced. But it has all the features that I need. And also, this was the last thing my mum gave to me before she passed away. So that's why this is very dear to me. If I lose this, I would... I wouldn't know what I would do because that would just be devastating and detrimental to everyone around me because they see my temper if I lost this they would all be not my friends anymore basically. <laughs> the digital gadgets that I have include my mobile phone, my laptop and I've got a small video camera like this one. Given that I'm actually old enough to remember life before the internet came along it's become such an important part of my work, my social life, that I can't imagine what it would be like to have a professional working life without the internet. To be honest, whilst I recognise the importance of technology in my line of work, I don't actually view myself as a person who's particularly good with technology. I know the particular functions that my gadgets need to perform for me. So for example, I know how to film a dance performance or say a training session. I know how to edit it, I know how to put it on the internet, I know how to share it with my friends. But in terms of trying to use the latest gadgets for it, I'm not trying to be Steven Spielberg in the filmmaking industry. I'm merely using that technology to serve a very specific purpose within the dance process, the creative process in, in choreography or teaching someone a dance routine. I have lost my mobile phone in 1998. And you know how perhaps when you have an accident and everything suddenly is in slow motion. I can remember those few minutes when it dawned upon me that I've lost my mobile phone so clearly because it's just that shock, that realization, that transition when you go from panic to denial and you think maybe it's in my coat pocket, maybe it's in my bag, maybe someone have picked, would have picked it up and handed it in. Then to that moment of realization when it just sinks in and you go, ah, I have really lost it. I remember having to walk to Charing Cross Police Station and join a very long queue of people who for whatever reasons have ended up in the police station. I'm thinking, I've just lost my phone, I've not done anything wrong. Why am I, why am I with all these people in the police station? And there, it was a long, long, long wait in Charing Cross Police Station. And all that while you're just thinking like, ah, maybe someone has had it in my phone. And just sort of, even at that stage, was switching back and forth between denial and acceptance. But when I finally filled in that form, and they say, okay, fine. Get your form, fill it in, you've got your report, now you can go back to Orange and ask for a new, new phone. And it was a pretty horrible process, and anyone who's ever lost their mobile phone will tell you how traumatic it is. Especially that bit when you have to go to a police station. It's horrible. The type of phone I have now is HTC Desire. The features are amazing. Basically, the way the phone works is, it's like a... Everything is basically there. You can have your weather on the screen, you can have like your social networks, you can actually find out what day you can conceive on. You can download an app uh, application that you will tell it your dates and then it will tell you your ovulation day. I know it's not like, but it's really great, fantastic. 
the importance of using my mobile phone is the efficiency that it allows me to be able to be in more than one place at once. And obviously, if you've got like different applications going on, you could you know be on your social networking site. You could also be on the phone and um, talking to somebody. Then also be on to Wikipedia to search something whilst you're talking to someone as well. So. It's, a, it's allowing you to have your fingers in all pies at every stage of, of the day. So whilst you're at work, you're still involved with what's going on outside, which is fantastic. How did I feel when I lost my favorite gadget? Frustrated, because I was now cocooned in this world that I was on my own and there was no one else part of that. So having a phone made you feel like you was part of something, you know, rather than just I, myself and me, it's like anybody else's. So I felt quite alone. The culture that we live in has made mobile phone detrimental to any aspect of your life. However, I can still can live this type of life, be me, in a different environment. So with the, with the, with um, if I don't have the, my mobile phone in this in this society, because the whole society is structured around the concept of efficiency and the concept of being able to reach you when I want to reach you, and um, things like that, it would be difficult finding work, promoting your your career. Everything is done di digitally, but that is of a cultural uh, um, uh, creation, and I think if that was not about if the digital area era was not here, I think I would still be able to do some of the things that I am doing now. I have a very large plasma screen TV. I have an a Apple iPhone and I have a Blu-ray player to go with my plasma screen. PlayStation 3 has got to be my favourite gadget because it helps me to relax. Um, I, I'm a bodybuilder, I'm, I compete at national level and I want to try and win the British title. So I have stressful days in the gym, I work in the gym. The best thing I like to do when I get home, prepare my meals, go do my cardio, go for a walk, and then just come back and relax and sit and play on my PlayStation 3 and it takes all my stress away on the video games. Uh, it just allows me to relax and that's the most important. You've got to get some relaxation in your life. I think I could do without my PlayStation 3 if push came to shove, yeah, I would find another way of relaxation, I guess. Maybe yoga, something like that. Or perhaps watching the TV. But again, that's just another digital gadget, isn't it? Uh, it would be very difficult to live without my mobile phone, though. My iPhone, because it has a lot, a lot of my contacts in. Uh, and business contacts and, and, and friends as well. I like talking to my friends. Um, I think that... Ultimately, I would be able to cope without digital, without these current digital gadgets because if I look back at my life, uh, about 15 years, before the iPhone, before the PlayStation 3, I was coping. It would just be a bit of a shock to the system, but eventually we could go back and we could cope with just a regular analogue telephone and entertainment as opposed to TV and PlayStation. The digital gadgets that I have are my computer, my photo camera, my MP3 player, my TV. So my MP3 player is very important to me because first of all I have a huge passion for music and the music allows me to, you know, to get away from the reality. Apart from my MP3 player, there is other gadgets that I do prefer which are my photo camera and my, my laptop which allow me to work. Um, and my, with my photo camera as an artist I always take shots of anything that can inspire me as I'm on the street or any other places. Um, my, my, my laptop is essential for my writing um, and other, other things that I have that are connected to what I do professionally. I can never live without my gadgets because um, they like my companion. Um, especially with my MP3 player, I can take it anywhere and it will just take me to a different world anytime I need to. Digital gadgets that I have are iPhone, MacBook, um, my iPod, um, my camera, 
I use my iPhone throughout the day on a daily basis. I check my emails on there, make my phone calls, use the maps to get around, sat nav, and it helps me run my day-to-day -day life basically, personally and professionally. My iPhone is important to me because it covers um, all the aspects of the MacBook, um, the phone, I stay connected with people um, locally as well as internationally. Um, it's just the ease of use and the assistance it provides. I haven't lost it, but I have forgotten it or maybe misplaced it for a minute and it makes you realise how dependent you become to it and also there's a bit of freedom to it because you you are constantly checking even when you have your downtime or do other things. You can absolutely live without your gadgets, to a degree. I think um, the way the world works right now, it, because a lot of things are quite globalised, you tend to feel the dependency even though you're not really dependent. Most people don't, don't remember phone numbers in their heads anymore like they used to um, write things down or store things um, on paper that much anymore because it's it takes up a lot of space, but it's totally possible. The digital gadgets that I have um, are, well, I've got quite a lot, but the important ones are my telephone, the mobile, and my laptop, which I use the most. I lost my phone several times, and when I lost my phone, it was, I just felt like really depressed. I felt like I couldn't function. I couldn't you know, I, I didn't feel like myself, I felt like part of me was missing and with my laptop I just felt like there was nothing to do, there was not, I was just so depressed and so unhappy and I, I just couldn't think about anything else. I, I think you can live without the, the digital gadgets of today. It's going to be very hard but you can because we've lived with them before so obviously we can do it again, it's just it will be much harder to do what we take for granted basically.